Alright, I've been dodging this for way too long. I mean, I don't know if it's just because, you know, I don't want to talk about it or whatever, you know. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have what's called um, Asperger's Syndrome. It's a form of autism, a uh, less severe form of autism. Uh, people who have Asperger's, they generally don't p tend to pick up on social cues as much. Um, and they don't understand social norms. Um, you know, have a lot of trouble fitting in all, a lot of the time. And that kind of thing. Um, also tend to have, you know, like, some OCD-like qualities. Um, me, for example, um, anytime the volume on the TV is not on an increment of 5, it drives me nuts. It, it just has to be on, like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, that kind of deal. Um, <clears throat> also, um, sometimes I'll count my steps, or count a certain amount of times I do things, and <clears throat> really, I just, I don't know where I'm going with this, I really don't, it's just, it's kind of running my life, even before I had it, I kind of knew there was something off. I knew there was a reason I was weird. I always knew there had to be some reason I act the way I do. And now I know that reason. The thing is, though, when I found out, it didn't give me the clarity, the relief I thought it would. <laughs> you know, it actually made things worse. I... It just... I had so many more questions. It was so hard for me to have to deal with that. I don't want to have to deal with this. I don't want for there to have to be something wrong with me. You know, and it's not that I'm too proud to admit it. I have no problem admitting it, obviously. And I'm not too proud to take help for it. I just. I don't want to have to have it. I shouldn't have to deal with it, you know? And I know it seems like I'm complaining. I'm really not, you know? I don't try to let it get in the way of things. You know, if there's a challenge presented to me, usually I'm... Usually I try and run into it. It's just... Incredibly hard to deal with, you know? Um... I tend to ramble and go off onto so many other different tangents, which I'm probably doing now, and you guys are all like, well, you get to the point, you know. Um, I've never been good at that, so you guys are going to have to deal with me talking like this. <laughs> and anybody who knows me, well, you guys already deal with it, so. Um, just... I've found it difficult to kind of come to grips with it, and to, there's still so much I don't understand, and I just wanted to do this so that anybody who does actually have Asperger's, they could help me, and give me their points of view on the subject. Um, and it's hard to pinpoint exactly what I don't understand because it's, I guess it's a part of that. It's just I have difficulty expressing, difficulty finding the words for certain emotions and certain thoughts. I can't verbalize them as well as I'd like. I mean, as people with Asperger's usually tend to verbalize their thoughts, but for me, for some reason, it just doesn't come out, it doesn't always come out the way I intended it to, and it's just really hard to deal with. Not that I can't deal with it, just, you know, if I don't have to, I'd rather not, you know, but 
As for me, I just... You know, there's just so much I don't understand. And, you know... I still... Don't understand why people are the way they are. Um... That's why I don't, you know, watch any paranormal movies. Not that, you know, I don't like scary movies, because scary movies are cool, you know, but it's just, I have to know the motivation behind why the killer or whoever is doing what they're doing. And those paranormal kind of movies, it's just an evil entity, evil entity, you know, that wants to cause harm. And that's not enough reason for me, you know. For me, there always has to be some reason, some explanation for everything. And I don't know if all people with Asperger's are like that, or if it's just me, you know. Um, but like I said, I'm doing this video uh, to try and reach out to people with Asperger's and just ask them what what it's like for them what all they don't understand and if it's anything like me they're gonna have just as tough a time as I am and I'm very patient I'm willing to bear with them just and I also did this so people understand you know that this is a very big part of who I am you know it's a lot of the reason why I act the way I act why that why I do the things I do why I do things differently you know and some people would say you know they don't approve of the methods I use which they're not bad it's just they don't like the way I do things but that's not going to change I do the way I do things because that's I do things the way I do things because that's comfortable for me, you know, and why should I change what's comfortable for me if it works for me? Just, I just really wanted everybody to know that I do have this, and to all those people with Asperger's out there, I wanted to reach out to you to maybe ask for help to get your viewpoint on the whole disorder and everything and get your viewpoint of how it affects you and um that's pretty much it I thank you guys for listening and just thank you so much